It would be a little unkind to present this picture without just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. What's up, ghoul friends? Are you ready for another Buff Bunny Halloween video? I can't believe it's already that time of year. I'm so excited. This is my favorite. October is my month, okay? This is when I come alive, I jive, I thrive. I'm all about it. Spooky season, it speaks to my soul. And I can say the same for Buff Bunny. Over the years, some of my favorite Buff Bunny collections have been from their Halloween drops. The Mad Scientist, the Undead Collection, and now we are introducing Seven Deadly Sins. This is actually in collaboration with one of their athletes, Kara Corey. So they collaborated on this launch and I'm really excited to bring to you guys the brand new drop. You can expect these pieces to launch October 7th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as usual, if you use my code GATA, it does save you 10% off all your Buff Bunny orders and it also does help contribute to this channel. So I thank you guys so much if you do. Always let me know so I can personally thank you. I have got to admit something right here. Full transparency. So I wasn't originally going to make an exclusive video about this. As much as it would break my heart, you know me, Halloween. Buff Bunny, I have to say, they didn't send me a lot of what was expected. So it made filming a little bit difficult because I had things that just didn't really go with anything. Super random. So I simplified the haul so that these outfits made a little bit more sense. Now this isn't on Buff Bunny. They're an amazing team to work with. Half the time it really is just warehouse issues. They don't get the items in enough time, things like that. So it's all good. I'm just letting you guys know I don't have a whole lot to share with you today. We are of course gonna go over the brief because there's a lot of cool stuff launching, but it's not not going to be an insane haul. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Buff Bunny's Halloween drop is usually my favorite of the year. You remember that skeleton bodysuit, right? It was so Halloween and so original, like it just would make me scream with joy. <laughs> But I have to say, this year they definitely tamed things down a bit. A lot more solid colors, no crazy real patterns other than the holographic, which I love. I believe, now this is just me, I feel like those more intensive Halloween drops are really only good for a very short period of time. And I do think that maybe they're going towards more of staple items you could wear all throughout November. This way you get more use out of your clothes. I just feel like that's the route they're taking and that's totally understandable. So let's go ahead and see what the frig they're dropping. Over here you can find the entire color palette and the materials used. So taking a look at their selects, the two things that stood out to me in this launch, obviously what I'm wearing, the mood ring holographic, this is a must. I know I already got it last year, but I had to get it again because I needed to size up because last year's just doesn't quite fit like it used to. <laughs> The sinful legging as well, mostly because that lust color is literally to die for. It's a mixture of a burgundy and like a little bit of purple. It's just so beautiful for the season. I was like, I absolutely have to grab that one. As you can see, we have a ton of tops. We have the alpha bra, the seductress, corset, sphinx, double twist, sultry, alpha. I mean, there's so many to choose from. I think you guys will notice there's no picture for the aggressive scrunch leggings. I actually requested that one. I didn't receive it, but when I saw the word aggressive, and you know me with scrunch bumps, I'm like, give it to me. The more aggressive, the better. As long as it doesn't hurt. As long as it's not a vicious scrunch, we're good. They're also launching some cloud pieces. The phantom jacket looks pretty cool. And some accessories. You got a headband, scrunchies, a beanie, which I got. And the game changer backpack, but teeny tiny. I thought that was a really cute addition. I'll also throw in the FAQs. This is great in case you are somebody who shops Buff Bunny often. You can see what pieces have changed, what to expect. So it's really helpful that they add that in there. But let's take a look at what I do have to share with you today. The Rebel Legging with the Alpha Sports Bra V2 in Mood Ring Holographic. Now I'm so glad to see this come back. To be honest with you, maybe this will be like a signature thing every single year. These sold out so fast last year, so I'm not surprised that they relaunched it. This is a very special set <laughs> in my eyes 
because it's freaking holographic. Are you kidding me? You look like a gypsy fortune teller or, or somebody who just like makes potions, but not quite a witch. You know what I'm saying? Fun fact, I size up to a medium in every single buff bunny bottom you're about to see. I'm so glad I did that with these rebel leggings. If you guys know this material, this Elysium, it's a bit stiff in some places, although there's a good amount of stretch. It's a very plasticky type of feel, which is why I don't prefer working out in this. These are my show leggings. I will wear these with a big baggy hoodie. Go into a haunted house. I don't know, this might be distracting in a haunted house. You don't wanna do that to other people. They're gonna be looking at your leggings and not, not the animatronics. You don't wanna do that. People are gonna think you're part of the Halloween display. I would take that as a straight up compliment. But nevertheless, right around the joints when you're really squatting down, it gets a little snug, tight, not the most comfortable to work out. In, so these are just for show. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Yes, you can. What am I talking about? The leggings have a different color than the sports bra. I feel like the sports bra is a little bit more bluish green and then the leggings have way more purpley blue in them. This is such a beautiful midnight moonlight color. They pair so perfectly. I feel like the Alpha Sports Bra, this V2, works so well with this set. It's so sexy. <laughs> It is, and it's very comfortable actually. So the straps are very thick, they are adjustable. The back straps though, what I really like is that they're laser cut, so there's no heavy seam on those really thick straps. I appreciate that, so there's no actual digging. I do feel like it runs a little snug though, however, right at the underbust, these seams are a bit thick. So if you're in between, sizing up is how you wanna go. But for me, I'm great with my true size small. Now, if this set is just howling at the moon way too loud for you, I get it, you can totally mellow it down with this seductress sports bra. This is in the color Vanity. It's a really deep, dark eggplant purple. I actually didn't order this bra at all, <laughs> but they did give it to me and I actually really like it. I think that added contour right around the chest is really cute. Really switches things up a bit. I would give it a low support. You do have adjustable straps that crisscross in the back. They do have removable bra pads. And at the very, very bottom, there's a tiny elastic band for extra support. Overall, very happy with my size. To pair with this bra, I actually have the Rosa Pocket Shorts 6 inch inseam. Again, I size up to a medium. I really love the fit. Right around the waist, it doesn't hug in too much. There's no roll up because the length is perfection. I love the double side pockets. This I can wear out on a warmer October, November day and be a-okay. And if you guys know me, you know my favorite Buff Bunny leggings, the Legacy. They actually didn't release any this time around. It's okay, they've been doing a lot of that. But a close second definitely has to be the Rosa Pocket legging. They are releasing the normal Rosa leggings, but I'm super happy with the pocket shorts. This entire set is made out of their really soft new brave fabric. It's pretty insulating, so I think it's great for the colder weather. The sinful legging. Wow, look how rich and beautiful this color is. Oh, this is in the color Lust. I asked for the Wicked bra in Lust to match, but I didn't receive it. It's okay, I still have the leggings to chat about. Now, you know how I was saying I sized up in every single legging today and short? Well, guess what? I did in the sinful leggings and I regret it. I was so upset because this was the legging, the legging I was most looking forward to. Let me take it off the freaking clips, okay? Because I need to just. This legging has a super thick elastic band right at the waist. It almost has a satiny look to it, little bit of a shine, not too in your face. And it has a Buff Bunny Collection logo that just wraps all the way around, like many, many logos wrapping around the waist. When I first got them in and I went like this, I instantly knew, I said, <laughs> my size medium doesn't work for this. I'm gonna wish I had a small. And I do. Please, if you are just looking to snag this legging, stick with your true size, okay? It'll make me feel better knowing that you did and that you're not gonna regret your purchase and have to make returns and exchanges. Cause I don't know if this will be sold out or not. A lot of Buff Bunny's drops, when something hits, it hits and it's sold out and it's gone forever, unless they do a random restock. You can see in this footage, the huge gape around my waist. Needless to say, I was super disappointed because this was the color in this entire launch I was most looking forward to. This lust is everything. I think this would be really workout friendly. This material is so super duper stretchy. It's made out of nylon and spandex. The band, however, seeing as it's a bit too big on me, I couldn't really give an accurate review, but I'm gonna assume if you hate bands that dig <laughs> or, or create a little bit of cinch around the waist, you might wanna gravitate away from these. They said that this is most like the Queen Bee legging from the Naked collection. I would agree to a certain extent that the seam 
leggings placement yes totally similar absolutely the overall fit of the legging though the feeling this feels just a little bit more like the Gymshark fit you remember that one you got the band you got a real stretchy material that was a super underrated legging from Gymshark that is what I feel in this particular legging my mind did not go towards the Queen Bee legging that's just me last but not least I have the material girl ribbed flare legging paired it with the covet crop top in black let's start with the leggings so again size medium i sized up perfect fit i'm so happy with it in fact it still feels a little bit snug around the waist but i'm not gonna size up two sizes that's just gonna be that's gonna be ridiculous <laughs> i've been a huge fan of the material girl ribbed leggings i always say they are the best athleisure leggings that buff bunny has to offer when it comes to more of a loungy style a little more casual something you can wear cuddling up at home watching a movie or throwing on your uggs and going for a walk rib detailing is really nice there's a nice amount of stretch in these babies now i saw three different inseams on the brief i believe there's going to be a 29 inch a 32 inch and a 34 inch full length legging i believe the one that i received was the 32 inch inseam just by measuring with my measuring tape without a doubt it was too dang long for me me i obviously should have went and received a 29 inch inseam do i think that's still going to be long on me yeah like i said before 23 24 maybe 25 inch inseam is okay 29 inch is just gonna be too big look how tiny the waist is though all right this is a medium again i sized up the waist is small it does feel a little bit compressive but what's crazy is the rest of it just molds right around your legs your glutes i think it's pretty fire honestly i think that they did a really great job in the quality as well because it is relatively thick it's not thin it's not cheap you're not gonna poke a hole through it they did a great job with this and they even added on that signature buff bunny emblem on the back that just shines so i think the overall quality of the material girl ribbed everything like that whole range is so good the covet crop top stuck with my true size small it's pretty good if you're in between though maybe size up i know that buff bunny usually when you're in between buff bunny sizing up is just the way you want to go i feel like a lot of their pieces they can snug around a little too tightly hug you in certain places that you're just like okay let up a bit would you same with this i feel like the band underneath it could be better <laughs> But nevertheless, I'm okay with my true size small. This is a non-adjustable top. You do have some corset styles to this. It curves inward at the bottom, creating a really nice silhouette. You also have the seams that run down, also giving it that corset look. I think the neckline is super pretty. It does show off the girls really nicely, really enhances them beautifully. I feel like this top could be perfect for a date night. You kidding me? A nice high-waisted skirt, pair of jeans, you name it. They still added in the removable bra pads, and it's a full built-in bra underneath. So you just need this, no bra, nothing else, no nip pads, and you're out the freaking door. This is in fact made out of their new Brave fabric, so nice and comfy for all day wear. Low to moderate support. Again, not something I would necessarily wear to the gym. I really wanted a black buff bunny beanie. Okay, I did. It is super cute. It is an embroidered logo. It's tonal, it blends right in, so it's not in your face. Black will go with anything. Gotta keep my noggin nice and warm. Alrighty guys, so what are our thoughts on the Seven Deadly Sins Halloween drop? Comment down below your thoughts on this launch. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, definitely hit that subscribe button. We always have some more buff money to chat about here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.